What's going on you to Kurtz S7 here for a video about transfer speculation and it's set to be a done deal lads with Chelsea signing Radamel Falcao. Oh, let that just sink in for a little bit. Radamel Falcao staying in the Premier League. All right, my opinions about this deal. All right, first things first, he's still gonna be on those massive wages. He's still gonna be reportedly 250,000 pounds a week to 300,000 pounds a week, which is a lot of goddamn money. But at the price tag of 25 million, that's uh, being uh, boasted about in the papers that Chelsea are, are getting a good deal. Are they? Are they getting a good deal for 25 million? I really don't know on this. I'd like to say, yeah, they are getting a, a good deal because I still believe Radamel Falcao is a quality striker. Not many players come into the Premier League and adapt. Di Maria, perfect example, came into the Premier League, struggled. You know, have a look at Merzat uh, Ozil for Arsenal, came into the Premier League, struggled. Diego Costa came in and went bang for the first 10 games and then pretty much for two thirds of the season was a bit you know, not the best. Not many people come in to the Premier League all guns blazing. Those who do are very, very rare. And you look at Alexis Sanchez, he's probably one of a handful that are doing it right now. So you could give slack to Radamel Falcao saying that he's not used to the Premier League and whatnot. But at the same time, he comes with a hefty price tag. Now, in my personal opinion, it takes two to tango. Yeah, Radamel Falcao was a bit schkeef. You know, he definitely underperformed. He was definitely a flop last season, no doubt about that. But like I said, takes two to tango. I don't think United, we played the system that suits him. I don't think we gave him a proper chance. I don't, like, and I'm not saying one start here and there is a proper chance. I'm talking about starting Radamel Falcao, you know, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games in a row starting getting used to the Premier League, getting some confidence up, you know, getting used to defenders, getting used to the Premier League, the fast pace, you know, the, the way it's the crash and bash, you know, he never got that chance. And I think if he gets that chance at Chelsea, and let's be honest, you know, Diego Costa, you know, could get injured for Chelsea. He's injury prone, same as Lot Remy. You know, if Renamal Falcao gets that chance at Chelsea, and he's got players like Hazard, he's got players like Fabregas, feeding him the ball going forward. He could be deadly for Chelsea. A club like Chelsea with Abramovich paying the wages, it's not a big fuss to them. So I think it's a good move for them, it, personally. Um, I just think, you know, as a United supporter, I just don't want to see him in the Premier League. He's going to score, you know, 15, 20 goals next season under Chelsea, no doubt about it. And it'll break my heart if Chelsea win the Premier League next season and Radamel Falcao is there lifting the title. It'll break my little Man United heart saying that. But anyways, lads, get your comments down below. I'm interested to hear what do you think about Radamel Falcao going to Chelsea. A lot of people are going to say he's a flop, he's not worth the money, he's definitely not worth the transfer fee, let alone £250,000 in wages a week, you know. But then you got other people saying, like myself, that he is quality, he is proven quality, it's worth the risk. Anyways, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Anyways, I've been your boy, Curtis Evans. Stay tuned to the channel for more transfer um speculation uh, regarding United and big Premier League uh, world football news. Anyways, I'm your boy Curtis7. Take care and peace.